Hello, good morning once again, my dear Matayum 2 students. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Now, today our lesson will be about recurring decimals. Okay, now recurring decimal is part of the rational numbers, wherein that um, you can uh, convert this into fraction. Okay, so these are, this are uh, decimals up to infinity, but there is a pattern in it. Uh, that is why it's recurring or repeating decimals okay so as you can see here in our first slide uh, you will see here we have here the decimal number 0 0.018 right and you will see there there's a point on top of 1 and 8 meaning to say that's the pattern okay it means that 1 and 8 are being repeated up to infinity so therefore we can say that the number for this is we have 0 0.018 up to infinity Okay, so whenever that you can see like the point that uh, uh, on top of any number, then that number is being repeated. Okay, and this decimal or re uh, recurring or repeating decimal number is equal to 1 over 55. Okay, so we have other examples on how we can uh, convert such decimal number into fraction. Here's number one. So we have uh, a number 2.5. 105105105 okay then we have here the ellipsis up to infinite infinity so the repeating decimal here is 105 105 okay so you can write this in this format like you put uh, a point on top of 1 and a point on top of 5 so meaning to say that this three number are the pattern they are being repeatedly okay now how we can uh, try, uh convert this into fraction so we say let x be the fractional form okay so this will be the fractional form and that will be equation number one now again our purpose here that um after the decimal point it will be the repeating or the recurring decimal already okay so if not then we need to move the point such that it will be a repeating decimal or repeating numbers okay now for this number we have 2.105105 you will see that our repeating number is already with beside the decimal point okay so we need to get one more equation that the decimal point will be beside a repeating decimal now remember that our repeating decimal here is one zero five right one zero five so we need to move this point towards here in between five and one okay so that's uh, the decimal point will be moving uh, af, uh, before before the first repeating decimal number. Nah? So we're going to multiply that. So using the place value, this is uh, tens. We have the hundreds and the thousands. So we're going to multiply this number by 1,000. Okay. So you have here multiply 1,000 to equation 1. Then if we multiply that to our equation 1 here, it will be equal to 1,000x is equal to 2105.105105 etc now you will see that our decimal point here move already after five you see before it was two point now from this point it moves after five okay and that's again started the uh, repeating decimal 105 105 105 etc so by this after the decimal point we have the repeating numbers then we can cancel that out or make it zero okay so we can have subtract that we can subtract the two equation equation two minus equation one so we have here the equation two this is equation one we subtract this so the repeating numbers will be subtracted it will be equal to zero and we have here the whole numbers 2105 minus 2 is 2103 okay and 1000 x minus x is 999 x okay now uh, we divide this by uh, 999 so we cancel out 999 to the x and equal to 2103 divided by 99 so we can divide this uh, by 3 to 2103 divided by 3 is 701 and 999 divided by 3 is 333 okay and this is a proper fraction and we're going we can uh, change this into mixed number like or mixed fraction like 2 and 35 over 333 okay so this is the fractional form of this repeating or recurring decimal 2.105 105 105 etc okay did you understand my 
We go to the next one, number two. You have here 0 0.1324424. Okay, etc. No? So the repeating number here is with 24, 24, 24, right? So that is in the thousands place or after the hundreds place. Okay? So you will see here that this will be equal to this. So you will see that 2 having the point and 4 having the point because these two numbers are being repeatedly. Okay? So again, the same thing that we're going to do, let x be the fractional form. We have here 0 0.132424. That, that would be equation 1. And again, we need to move this point um, with the repeated numbers, okay, before the repeated numbers. So we're going to move here at between 3 and 2, okay? That's one uh, move. And again, we need to move again this point towards here, okay? Because our first equation, equation 1, is not with the decimal point, is not with the repeated numbers, okay? So we're going to multiply this equation two times. First is to multiply by 100 so that this decimal point will move in between 3 and 2, okay? So we multiply that, we have this, and we have 100x, and we move this point over towards here to become 13.242424, okay? That would be our equation 2. Now again, we, move, uh, we need to move this point after 4 and 2, okay? So that it will be um, after... Uh, with a decimal number. Nah? So we multiply by 1,000 here, okay, because this will be on the, uh, this will be hundreds, this will be uh, 10,000 rather, 10,000. So we're going to multiply by 10,000 because this is 1,000, this is 10,000, okay? So multiply by 10,000, we have here 10,000x is equal to 10 times x. 10,000x uh, is equal to 0 0.1324242424, etc. Okay, so we multiply, we have this, and you will see that our point here uh, moves already after 24, this one here. So it becomes 1,324.242424. Now you will see here that our repeated numbers are with the decimal already, right? You see, decimal point, this one and this one. So we can subtract equation 3 and equation 2. We have here. So we have equation 3 and this have equation 2. And we can subtract this. So we have, this will be 0 and 1,324 minus 13 is 1,311. 10,000x minus 100x will be 9,900x. Okay? Now again, we have here, uh, we divide this by 9,900. 9, 9, and we cut, that would be x is equal to 1,311 divided by uh, 9,900. Okay? So we divided this again by 3. So this will be 4,437, uh, and this will be 3,300. So that's the uh, fractional form of these repeated numbers. Okay, my. Okay, so we have here our third number. We have here 5.3121212121212. Okay, that's the repeated numbers. Okay, up to infinity. Okay, so you will see here that our repeated numbers is 121212. And you will see here that one have the point and just the point, or you can write this in this format, one, two, one, two, one, two. So again, as uh, the same method as what we have uh, a while ago, we have x equals to, we say x be the fractional form, x equals to 5.312, 1, 2, 1, 2, etc. Now for this one, our repeated number is not with the decimal point. So that is why we need to move this point towards here with after tens. And uh, uh, this point will be moved here with the thousands place, okay? So we're going to multiply this equation two times. First with the 10, and for the second one is 1,000, okay? So that we can uh, move this point towards here and this point towards here, okay? So if we multiply that equation by 10, it will become 10x equals to 53.121212, etc. And if we're going to multiply that by 1,000, it will be 1,000x equal to 5,312.121212 because we move so from this point here to up uh, up to here. So that would be 5,312. Okay? So you will see that our repeated numbers are the same. 1, 2, 1, 2, and this one is 1, 2, 1, 2. So we can subtract equation 3 to equation 2. Okay? We have this one. 
uh, equation 3 minus equation 2. So this will be cancelled out or 0. We have 5,312 minus 53 is 5,259. And 1,000x minus 10x will be 990x. Okay, so we divided this by 990. Then we cut 990, it becomes x. And here we have 5,259 over 990. And this again can be divided by uh, 3. So this will be uh, 5,259 by, divided by 3 is 1,753. And for this 190 divided by 3 is 330. Okay. Now again, we can uh, change this into a mixed number. It's like uh, 5 and 103 over 330. Okay. So that's how you can uh, get uh, or how you can figure out the uh, repeating or recurring decimal into a fractional form. Okay, so do you have any question? Okay, so if you have any question or clarification about our lesson for today, you can comment below for any clarification or you can uh, chat me in any uh, social media. Okay, so that's all for today and uh, we see you again next time. Bye-bye! Thank you.